Happening now, millions of people across the world are recovering after a massive computer system outage that affected everything from banks and health care to even air travel. Yeah, we learned the U.S.-based cybersecurity company CrowdStrike is at the center of the technology meltdown. They say it's linked to a faulty systems update for some Microsoft computers and was not a hack. That was a relief. Right. Fox 23 Scott Martin talked with people at Tulsa International Airport dealing with delayed and in some cases canceled flights because of this outage. Passengers are frantically trying to figure out their next move, some going so far as to just waiting and booking their flight for tomorrow and staying in town another night. Well, this is the first time that I was ever going to fly, so um, with this big of a trip for me, pretty frustrating. Joey Boyd is part of Troop 2316 out of Fort Smith, Arkansas. Their group of 11 is trying to get to the Bahamas for a scout trip. This wasn't like we had just threw it together six months ago and we had to book the trip two years out. We had to plan everything. And they got to the airport at 4 a.m. only to learn their flight from Tulsa to Atlanta would be canceled, all thanks to a global outage impacting airlines everywhere. We've tried to go any sort of airline. We've contacted family members if they had private jets or something to try and get us out there. For many of these scouts, it's a trip of a lifetime. They'll live on a boat for a week, learning how to sail and having some fun, too. But the canceled flight now has their plans up in the air while their plane isn't. They need to be at Marsh Harbor by 4 p.m. tomorrow. We offered to drive to northwest Arkansas, Oklahoma City, Dallas. I mean, we've tried to go anywhere, but um, there's just nothing available for us. Pretty frustrating, but um, I mean, I know that you always run into problems with flights. Tulsa International Airport reminds people coming to fly out of Tulsa, make sure you check your flight status before you get here. Reporting at Tulsa International Airport, covering news that matters, I'm Scott Martin, Fox 23 News. Now we've been checking and air travel nationwide is still being affected by this tonight. So some flights into and out of Tulsa are delayed. So just repeating, reiterating what Scott said, make sure you indeed check your flight time before you leave.